Hi, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a um, update on where we are with Project Woody, our RV that we're turning into our um, headquarters, command center, nerve center, studio, uh, multi-purpose space, I guess. It's a 2006 RV, a Wildwood LE model. I believe Forest River was the manufacturer. It was donated to us by a couple uh, who have been long time to weather fans for years and years and years. They donated it to us. We were happy to have it. Um, and then we started realizing all the work we need to do and we've been doing it. So this video is just going to give you a little update of where we are and where we're going and what work needs to be done. Let's get into it. Okay, let's take a tour. We have all the paneling off. We've cleaned up pretty good. This is trim that was donated. And a little bit of scrap. This is the driver's side wall of the front. We're in the front room right now. This is the front wall. This is the passenger side or the entry side. I have so many questions. This is the roof. But what was the roof? There, there used to be this all the way across here. That's clearly just gone now. The metal from the roof curves up. The rubber roof, I guess, went under it. I don't know. That might have been some of the problem here. Um, this is a hole in the roof. We have a tarp over here because it's been raining quite a bit lately. Now, I have so many questions. We have to rebuild this. We have to rebuild this uh, arch where the roof bends, if you can see that bend. We have to rebuild something to support this bend. Now, I was watching a Jimmy DiResta video, and, and Jimmy made this... Jimmy, like we're on a first-name basis. Mr. DiResta, or Jimmy, whatever you want to call him. Uh, if you don't know Jimmy DiResta, you got to go find him. D-I-R-E-S-T-A. The man is a just a maker god. It, there's nothing he can't do, and he has a great maker space up in, I think it's upstate New York. Um, but Jimmy DiResta was building a camper, I believe, for a microbrew or a winery or something, and he built it from scratch off of like a utility trailer frame. When he did these bends on his, he cut like half inch or three quarter inch plywood to match this bend, sistered a few together, and just put them on top of the studs, and that's what the bend was supported by. I think that's what we're gonna do. We got some plywood back there that we're gonna try and do that with. We're gonna try and match this bend, this bend here, uh, with plywood, glue a couple together, and then just place the, well, there should be a stud here, there's not. Put it here, put it here, put it here, put it here. We're actually gonna beef up this wall a little bit. Uh, this front wall is going to be our studio So there will be a desk along this wall a desk that goes along this wall um, A one-of-a-kind custom piece from Bennett Rambo art and again, this is not like an advertisement video here But Bennett Rambo art B E N N E T T Rambo like the movie art R A M B O art uh, Go find him on social media. Look at his stuff. He made us a four foot by six foot painting on two pieces of canvas after our trip to eastern kentucky that is going to take up this entire wall we're going to cover the window and it's going to hang right here i uh we'll post a picture of it on our, our social media just look for do other cares on any social media we'll post a picture of that painting later that's going to go there there'll be a desk that goes to right about here we're going to rebuild the outdoor storage this used to be a pass-through it's not going to be anymore we well, see that tape there's going to be a box here for that storage and a box here for that storage uh, and then again a desk across here stop right about here uh, and a desk this way too trying to figure out what we're going to do in the corner i don't know if this desk is going to this is going to be just a straight l shape if it'll be rounded i'm kind of hoping it'll be rounded but i don't know what that's going to look like exactly over here where this futon is, if you'd like a futon, message us. You can have it. It's a beautiful futon. We just don't have a need for it, and it came with the RV when the RV was donated to us. Uh, from that wall to that wall is 12 feet, and we're going to have a 12-foot workstation desk that goes along here for three or four people to sit at and work at when we go to a location after a natural disaster occurs and we deploy there. Uh, this will be our 
nerve center or command center, if you will. And this is where that will take place. Our members, our volunteers of the disaster team will coordinate those efforts. Uh, we'll have to make a video on exactly what our process is when we deploy somewhere. Um, so that's that idea. That's going to be the command center, the nerve center, if you will. This will be our studio for live streaming, uh, for video editing, for and additional workstations during a deployment if we need them. Uh, and back there, here's the plywood I was talking about, some for the roof and some for those arches. Uh, that needs to be cleaned out. There's still tools and stuff that was in the stores there. That is going to be our rest and relaxation room. On that wall where that 12 is in duct tape. Ugh. This was a bunk room. There was a bunk up here, a bunk down here, a bunk down here, and a bunk up here. And there's a big built-in right here. This used to be cross-to-cross, side-to-side, pass-through storage. It's not going to be that anymore. This is going to be closed off, and this is going to become inside access storage only. This side will go the wall to wall, uh, and that will be outside access, but it's not going to pass through. We're going to have a bench here and a bench over here, and we're going to have a fold down table that will go on this wall that we can fold down. People can come back here, relax, that we have to lay down on the bench if they want to, sit back here and eat, maybe bring a computer back, do whatever they want back here, just kind of relax and get away. <laughs> Um, as stress and anxiety or whatever hits you during a deployment, sometimes they can get very stressful. Uh, and I'm thinking lately that maybe we can even use this for a podcast area. When that table comes down, we can fit two people here, two people over here, and we can do a podcast back here. We'll see. We'll spit, basically, this is our rest and relaxation room. We'll have some shelves up here, some adjustable shelves up here. Uh, this is the kitchen. Obviously, they came with the RV. We're not going to mess with that. Maybe in the future, but not anytime soon. Uh, we're just now trying to figure out what we're doing with all of these studs and the best way to replace them. We have a few spots in the floor to replace. There's a little soft spot right down here I just discovered as I pulled out this footer board here. Um, that's soft, so that's going to have to come out. Studs are missing because they were just completely rotten. There was another one here that sister the door frame here. The top of the door frame is rotten. So is this. That has to come out. I think we're going to cut this out. I'm just gonna put a new piece all the way across. Um, it's gone, <laughs> it's just gone. So we're gonna put a new one in there, pull this out obviously, and just want run one straight piece over. Now, those I believe are two by twos that, hey, that they've been using, maybe one by twos for all the framing. Uh, we got two by threes. We're gonna beef this thing up. So we're gonna put two by threes in uh, if I had a little piece here to show you, and I know we had one, I don't know what happened to it, but we're going to put two by threes in. They'll go sideways, so the width, the wide part will go three inches this way, two inches deep, uh, except the front wall. The front wall, we're going to do just the opposite. We will have the thick part coming out, so the three inches out and then two inches wide, and we're going to put those across here. There's another one that went across here, another one that went here, a truss. One of these that went across here, we're gonna have to put that up. The footer or the stud below that, the stud below that, the stud below that. We have to box out the storage, but we have to cut out that floor that's soft. Same thing on this side, box out the new storage, frame it out, uh, cut out that floor and replace it with that plywood we have back there. We have to rebuild the corners, as I was saying before. We have to add new studs. All this needs to get replaced. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. That one's good, that one's good, that one is maybe not so good. But these, that, and the, the uh, top frame of the window and the bottom frame of the window were good. Everything else has to come out. We've got this massive challenge here that I'm not looking forward to. This appears to be a two by six, and this is on the right hand side of the slider, the front side of the slider. This is just crumbling. This somehow got very wet. So we're gonna have to replace this all the way down. We got a two by six. Uh, it's in that pile there. Uh, that two by six will go in here. This appears to be two or three different boards. Um, let's see here. Is that one up there good or is that not good? Okay, so this one is good. The top board is good. This board here is not good, and this one here, which is a pretty big, oh, there's a space down there. I didn't realize there was a space. Anyway, this big board here, which might be another two by six, I don't know. Uh, and this looks like another one by two, or maybe two by two. 
that's gonna have to get cut here this will get cut here and we will run these they end right here and the, the vertical two by six what i believe to be a two by six staples together with these ginormous staples to this horizontal piece the idea that we have is that we are going to take restud this wall extensively like we'll put a stud here we'll put a stud here we'll put a stud here we'll put that frame there we'll put another one here and another one here and we're going to take this piece these pieces that we cut out and instead of ending here where they are we're going to run those all the way over and be supported by these studs and new studs that we put in so we don't have all the weight right there we can distribute the weight out further we might even go way up to maybe the front side of the window i don't know but we're going to put a long piece in here just to kind of support that weight we'll put that in first i believe after we build these studs we'll put the horizontal piece in then we'll take this vertical piece out and put the vertical piece in uh the one thing is however in order to do that we have to unscrew a piece of uh uncover that seam that goes up there that has to get unscrewed because that's what this is screwed into screwed in on the outside so we have to go to the outside and uh unscrew so we can pull this piece out uh, that is i think our most challenging part of this entire thing is getting that done but in order to do that we got to get this wall beefed up and so we'll start on this wall i think then get this wall done and then ugh, the front i am dreading because another challenging aspect of this is these studs at the very bottom here they go below the floor and there used to be a piece of wood that ran down there here's what i'll show you here's the stuff that we have taken out by the way that we've demoed in here and you can see that the front wall is not really attached to the side wall because there's just no wood holding it anymore, which is lovely. Anyway, in here, there used to be a piece of wood that ran along the frame here on the bottom from side to side. And then the studs right there, that stud would rest on top of it or screw into it. Uh, well, that's not there anymore. That was, again, that just became mulch. So I think... We're gonna have to take this off. If I think we, if we could just get away with taking off the diamond plate, we could do it that way. I'm kind of hoping that's what we can do, but I don't know if that's even possible. <sighs> Otherwise, this whole front has to come off so we can attach those lower studs. Again, they come down. That's where they used that board used to go from side to side, laying on the bottom there. But again, it just completely with the water damage took it apart. Then there's all these staples that we got to worry about here. All these rusted screws that are under this trim. We're going to have to replace all of those. These screws are just terrible. Whenever you see a rusty screw, um, especially like if you look at these heads on the outside here, if you see rusted screws on the outside, you got problems um, because that means there's water, obviously. But also another thing is this is a water seal here. This is to make everything watertight with the screws that are under here. Why would they screw through? Is that normal? Are they supposed to screw through this? I thought the screws went under this. I don't know. That was just a weird thing that Lori, I think, noticed that. The vice president of our board of directors noticed. And yeah, I don't think those screws are supposed to be there. This is uh, one of the bunks that we took out from the bunk room area. I <sighs> just got a lot of work to do. And trying to get people to have the free time to help is a little difficult. People are obviously busy. We got work to do. That piece of floor needs to come out. Just this square. We'll cut it out and patch it. That one there, that one there. And again, this strip here that I just noticed when we took this baseboard out or this footer out here. Um, that's going to have to get cut and replaced too. And that might actually go all the way along as this, the, the footer here that runs along the floor or along the wall on the floor is soaked. So everything under that was soaked too. So we might have to cut this entire strip of floor, maybe six inches, and put strips of plywood in to patch it underneath the new studs. <sighs> we'll see. Then I got this to worry about too. I don't know what happened here. But this is, this is down. This is the door frame. It's good over here, it looks like. But some, for whatever reason, it looks like it dropped over here. And I can't figure out why that happened. 
I don't know why that happened, but the door is hitting over here, and now I know why. Gotta figure out how to fix that. <sighs> no idea how to fix that. This is all dry back here, by the way. This is the back side of the door. That's all dry, that's why that's still hanging there. Uh, but this, obviously, is what we're gonna have to cut. This is soft, it looks good, but it's not. So we're gonna have to cut this somewhere. This is soft. This is gonna have to get replaced. Or maybe even just cut it out and put a new piece in. I don't know, we might scab a piece in here. Same thing here, we might just cut this piece here and scab a new piece in and put new supports under it. Cause this is good and this is good all the way down. Uh, it's just a challenge, we have a lot to do. This uh, thing when it's done is going to be a game changer for our ability to help people after natural disasters. Um, and with all of us as volunteers doing it for a very small nonprofit with really no income at all or no revenue at all, it, it's just very difficult. We had a donor donate the two by threes. Thank you to that person who wants to be anonymous. Um, another longtime fan who has helped us out with technical advice before. Uh, Joe, he donated this one by four cedar trim that we're going to use to trim out the floors uh, for base molding in here and the back room. We just have a lot to do. Look, if you're a carpenter, if you're an electrician, if you have experience with rehabbing RVs, we could absolutely use your help. Um, not just your physical help, but your advice too. If you have any advice, man, we could use it. Message us um, on any social media, just at the weather cares, all one word on any social media and LinkedIn. Um, leave a comment on our videos or our social media posts on YouTube or any of the social media. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, any tips, if you want to make a donation um, of materials or a financial contribution, uh, it would be helpful. Very, very helpful. In fact, we're not going to be able to finish this without it. Oh, but that's our plan. And then, of course, we have to replace some of the roof, too. And so after we get the walls built here and the walls back there in the R&R &R room, uh, we'll go on top and we'll replace whatever we need to replace on the roof, which isn't really a whole lot, to be honest. Most of the trusses are good. The center section is good, we believe. We won't really know for sure until we get up on the roof and get that up, the old rubber roof up. Um, and we do have a rubber roof kit, a new one to put on, but we got to get the roof rebuilt. But we can't do the roof rebuild until we get the walls rebuilt. So, here we are. You can look at earlier videos and see what this did look like. It, uh, we did not expect this much work when we got this RV. Um, but we're happy to have the RV and we're, we're, we're really, really, really happy to have it because we're going to... We're going to get it done somehow, one way or another, with help. Sweat and tears and blood. I've bled quite a bit on this with screws and nails and whatnot. Um, but we're motivated. I'm motivated. We're going to we're gonna do good things. We're gonna do, we've are gonna do. we done a lot of great things with our volunteers in this organization to other cares for victims of uh, natural disasters. And this will facilitate our ability to do it again and continue to and do greater things, help more people. That's the whole idea behind this thing. Again, this will be our studio. That will be our R&R room back there. And this area here is going to be a workstation from wall to wall. Well, that's where we are. If you have any ideas, any input, any suggestions, any recommendations, if you've got some experience doing this and have some ideas for us, let us know. This is not what we do. This is not what any of us do. Um, so we're kind of winging it, learning as we go. If you'd like to help us with advice or tips or materials or funding, everything is a not is a tax deductible. We're a nonprofit. Message us. You can find us on all social media and LinkedIn and YouTube at, at the Weather Cares. All one word, the Weather Cares. Got a lot of work ahead of us. We've done a lot. But we have a lot of work ahead of us. Any support you can give us, again, whether it's ideas or knowledge or materials or funding, let us know. You can also uh, message us or email us with questions. We'll try and answer them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow us on social media if you haven't already. Share our posts if you haven't already. 
Uh, like, follow. That would help a lot, too. Thanks for watching.